जो आप सबकी चुप्पी है ना मैडम बस आपके अपने भले के लिए उसका मतलब वो ना हो जो मतलब मुझे लगता Well, Tanuja ji and uh, Aisha ji, a warm welcome to you on Film Mission. Me and congratulations on Hush Hush on Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. La Tanuja, I'm going to begin with you. Um, when I first actually saw the trailer of Hush Hush, on first instance, it actually reminded me of shows like Big Little Lies. And I think you're revisiting a dark space which you, I think, you previously created in a film like Dushman. So, how emotionally? taxing was it for you to actually create this show and explore the story ah uh, good question in terms of uh, emotionally taxing um i suppose the craft honestly the 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 work of filmmaking storytelling is emotionally taxing uh, because it's all about um exploring uh, especially in hashash exploring that which we don't <coughs> express that which we hide that which we, which we keep to ourselves lies we tell uh, and and what that does to our lives so i think that um, this one of course it was particularly dear to me because uh, uh, of the fact that there were multiple female protagonists uh something that has been an abiding passion in my career but i've never mm. had six uh, female protagonists <laughs> so that was a first um and but 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 the genre of uh, a crime drama uh, filled with emotions and um, sort of sort of exploration <clears throat> of the female soul if you will um yeah. is what made it really really exciting for me Yeah I can I can definitely see that excitement I'm sure uh, I think from from hearing that experience but I think you both have a legacy that precedes you I think Aisha ji uh, it's wonderful to see you and Juhi ma'am actually work together ironically I think you both have worked with the same director uh, in two different films which were very iconic back in the 90s yeah. um but I think when you obviously you have you are such a well known star and the fact that obviously i've grown up watching a lot of your movies so the fact that you know there's so many there's so much love for you and there's so much image that's created of aisha julka before for you did you ever feel that responsibility through hashash that okay you know what now is my time to really you know shift gears and really channelize that actor within me as well i mean i'm sure you have always been doing that but was there that responsibility for this show for sure for sure you have actually nailed it it is exactly what i wanted to do uh break that image uh in a nicer way i mean add something more to it you know uh yeah. so uh, uh, it's not that you know i've done something absolutely out of the box in terms of uh, okay fine i i never did certain things like kissing scenes or bikini scenes you know I, i mean i was always uh people used to ask me these questions so i haven't broken that kind of image but when it comes to acting and doing a character which i've never done in my life you know a uh, dark mm-hmm. side of the character and uh, uh, something which is so performance oriented for me that it actually i used to feel drained after giving a shot and believe you me it's such a lovely fulfilling feeling for an actor and i didn't realize it till it happened to me and i have to thank tanuja to have that conviction and uh, that faith in me you know and we also mm. have to believe in ourselves if we have to do something different and i always believed in myself mm. i was probably always very confident about one thing that if i am given a chance mm-hmm. i will put in my 100% and when i was yeah. given a chance it was absolutely unbelievable for me but i tried to put in my 200% here yeah this this morning there was some i think it was either a tweet or a Uh, a review that says that if any of you think that Aisha Julka has forgotten her acting chops, uh, be re- uh, re- reassured that there is no way that uh, that happened, really? and she's really done a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow that's literally chahe tum kuch na kaho maine sun liya quite literally i think in that, in that manner quite there no but i think that's wonderful i mean please aisha ma'am you were you were fantastic i've actually seen the series and i think it was such a joy to watch you and juhi ma'am together so it was wonderful i think we kind of wish this collab had happened 
fight before, but I'm glad that through Tanuja this this happened. It so happened. well done to you, Tanuja, for making it happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, you know when it comes to uh, a lot of the characters that you've done, Tanuja, I think a lot of them. I think you know whether it's Zindagi Rocks, whether it's even um, Karib Karib Single. Also, a lot of the characters you've had are very are strong characters, but yet very broken. And I feel like that's one sort of theme that I saw within all of the characters in, in, in Hush Hush as well, whether it's Ishii or whether it's Saiba or any of them. Do you kind of feel like as a filmmaker, you channelize perhaps the self of yours, which is maybe broken, um, but yet also very strong? And I think we can also direct this question after to Aisha Ma'am as well. I'd love to get your thoughts too. But yeah, Tanuja, that's a really good first. question. And, uh, and I do think that uh, brokenness is a human condition. Uh, but we tend to hide it, right? We tend to put our strong and independent and uh, bold faces uh, uh, out there to society, but we hide what's broken because it's a matter of shame. And, and, and I do, and I completely, I think I'm of the opinion that the truth is the opposite, which is that there's great courage in, in showing your broken parts and there's great courage in sharing and being aware and be, and then sharing it with other people that you're yeah. extremely vulnerable, that you're broken, that you have hopes and desires that never got fulfilled and they would, you know, you still hope for them. And so, I mean, especially in Neera's character, I think that was there a lot, the, the desperation, the desperation to, 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 you know, have something in your life and it, and you never got it. So to me, these are the characters that, that I love. And I think OTT has given us the opportunity to do that because in cinema, which is largely a traditional sort of a format, even now, um, you know, it has a kind of a um, boy meets girl, boy, boy and they fall in love and they, or, 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 you know, a revenge story or horror story or thriller. It's just that in OTT, you can genuinely examine the flaws of people, examine mm -hmm. um, mistakes that they've made and then after that made an attempt to resurrect their lives once again done something that is very courageous so so i think that these are the things that i'm really excited about in terms of exploring in storytelling and ott is a great blessing for all of us yeah definitely so i uh, absolutely agree with her and uh, you know if you really ask me i would not generalize this as much because she's already uh, said a lot which she understands a lot more because she observes a lot more. For me, I will uh, speak from my personal personality, my personality or my personal experiences. I think that uh, rightly said, we live in a society where uh, you know there is already an image created. I'm not talking about the screen image, a personal image. Mm. Wherein, you mm. know, people feel for me that she's a fighter mm. and she goes all out there and she will tackle every situation and she'll handle this and she'll handle that and she comes across strong and everything. I am strong, no doubt about it. But there's always a vulnerable side, mm. you know, every woman will have, every human wo being mm. would have. Mm. But where we speak about women, I think that I have my weaknesses, you know. And rightly mm -hmm. said, we are so ashamed to show that. Why? Mm -hmm. I mean, I if I'm nervous, I don't feel ashamed in saying I'm nervous. If I'm uh, broken or if I have gone through a certain phase where I've been depressed or I have been absolutely low, I do not hide it mm -hmm. because I just want mm -hmm. to let it out of my system. Now, it's your problem how you are taking that. Mm -hmm. But I have to mm -hmm. let it out of my system. Back then, I don't think many women did that. They wanted to keep everything inside and sulk and make an image and say we can't cry and we cannot show that we are weak. Even today, I feel that if I have to do certain things which I am desperately wanting to do, you know, break that rule and jump out of line, why do I have to think 10 times? I still mm. fear it. I still have to think 10 times. And I feel that... Yeah. Is it easy for me if I do this? Mm. These are the experiences I think that I have brought in my life and put it in Mira's character. Mm. Because there have been mm -hmm. immense number of times I felt broken. Mm. I feel that even now mm -hmm. in my personal life, oh. in my uh, personal experiences, you know, with friends, family, it could be with parents, anywhere. Mm. Now, sometimes you can't let them out, you know. Because mm. the, the 
things around you don't allow you to let it out, let out your feelings of fear, yeah. anxiety, depression, sadness. Now the, these are happiness, sorrow, victory, defeat. These are all two sides of mm. one coin. And why mm. are we so consumed by what people will say and what mm. people will think? Can't we be mm. ourselves? You know, and I think that is progression for me. If when they say women are progressive and times have changed, Definitely. I think we should be allowed to be ourselves and mm -hmm. we only can allow that for ourselves. That's very true. That is so true. And I think, like you said, I mean, it's great that we, even in cinema now, we're seeing women sort of uh, take the front seat now. Like they're the ones who are, dri who are the drivers now in many, many positions. But I think also it's very stark and very terrifying how, especially in this year, like not just in India, but here in the UK, we've also seen numerous rising crimes against women happen. Yes. You know, I won't name specific cases, but I'm sure you all know which ones I'm talking about. And it's very terrifying for me as a person to see that. And I think when I saw some of the sort of misogynistic language of people, men in power in Hush Hush, sort of use against women, it's a really stark reminder. So I think, Danuja, um, so societally, what is the need of the hour to implement change when it comes to issues like gender inequality? And I think, Aisha, it would be lovely to get your views as well. Uh, the need of the hour is to speak up and to work towards and to stand for equality. There is no greater need in this world than the fact that you and I and all of us are equal in the eyes of nature. And if society is, treats any gender or, 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 or minority in, any, um, in a discriminatory way, as a human being, I must speak up about it and against it. I think if I can also again do it in my movies, uh, that is what I do in, in, in the content that I make because I do feel that uh, I want to make something and be a part of something that says something. That isn't just a story about people or friendships or, you know, that's all good. Friendships are there, relationships are there, but what am I saying as a maker? Um, and so that, uh, you rightly spoke about the misogynistic stuff uh, because it is there for a reason. It's there because I strongly feel against it, you know, and, and I want to speak up against it. Um, mm -hmm. So I think anything that we can do, because the world is um, sadly becoming a more and more unequal place where there's so much discrimination and, and hatred. Uh, and, and we mm. all, each of us, each individual must speak, ag speak up against it and do whatever we can to fight against it. Right. Yes. What a you guys, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the good thing uh, is that back then we had the women who were suppressed. They didn't have the guts to actually voice themselves out. So the the positive side to this is at least we people are getting up and we do not fear that if we say this, what will happen? If we say that. Also, I would say that when things have changed, men have uh, women have changed. Men also have changed. They have also mm. allowed us to actually uh, not be suppressed. So certain segments of positivity is there. The negatives are still a lot and it will take a long time for us to get there. But at the same time, it's not about women and men. And, you know, I, I also go one step beyond this uh, whole equality and all. I just feel that the world has to be a much happier place healthier place, safer place for all of us to enjoy the beauty of it. And we all have to actually understand that. It's like, you know, when you throw a plastic on the road or if you throw garbage on the road, if you are just conscious of it, you wouldn't do yeah. it. So every moment we have to be conscious of what we are doing. We just don't do things for the heck of it. It has to mm. be a conscious effort that respect for women, respect for love or any community, everything has to be a conscious effort. Yeah. And that is very yeah. important. It's about the balance, I think. The yes. problem is, is we just don't have balance. And it's very easy to achieve as well. And it has to be both sides. You know, it's something which I've also realized and come to terms with as well. But I think one thing that I took away from Hush Hush is the fact that the show deals like we've been talking about in this interview is the characters where and the gray characters rather and mental health i think seems to be a very very subtly subliminal 
theme uh, throughout the, throughout the series. Um, so, how do you feel about the representation of Grey uh, and mentally challenged characters in Indian entertainment nowadays? Because I feel it's great that we're addressing it, but then Sara time waha par unko justify karne mein lag jata hai, rather than just saying, "Ha, ye Grey hai, hum sab messed up hai, and this is it." <laughs> so, Sanuja, what do you what do you think about that? Um, I think that representation matters for sure. Uh, whether it's uh, f uh, representation of women, uh, of, of, of emotionally, mentally, physically challenged uh, characters. Um, uh, and, and so I think that we see too little of these kinds of characters on screen. I think we have to make that more common. Um, we should have, uh, because you know, I mean, there's large communities, uh, uh, communities all over the world that don't feel represented by, uh, by you know, we only have shiny, beautiful people uh, and who are, who are, you know, extremely funny and charming and loving and all the great uh, qualities. So I think it's important to uh, examine um, our, uh, you know, our, 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 the fact that we also judge ourselves constantly by the standard of what is good and what is beautiful, uh, what is what is uh, considered respect worthy. Uh, so there's kind of there's shaming in all mm -hmm. areas. So I do think that stories uh, need to need to reflect uh, the, mm -hmm. no, the 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 parts of society that are in the shadows and are not spoken about. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that. Um, Grey is actually, honestly, um, is what all storytelling should include uh, because uh, because that is because our stories should be a representation of the world that we live in, and not some mm. super uh, other world that uh, nobody really n knows about. Because then you have people yearning to be something else other than themselves. Uh, which really isn't, which isn't a fact. It's not true. You know, yeah, it's not so true. That yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. With everything truth. that we must be as beautiful as this yeah. uh, actor, and we must be as funny as this actor. We must have uh, this much success, this much uh, ambition. You know, and so so you're always feeling small. Mm. You know, and I think that it's very important that stories speak about that. I think Mira's character for me, it's very beautifully. Uh, you know shown <laughs> where it is gray it is mm -hmm. dark yeah. but you know just think of the reality yeah just just pause for a moment and yeah. think of the reality yeah we are playing characters but imagine the real person in that situation yeah what she must be going through yeah. and what must be her life where she's in a absolute catch-22 situation all the time yeah it's Absolutely. it's very yeah it's sad. Yeah, it's very sad. <laughs> right. But yes, on that rather heavy note, and on that grey note, <laughs> unfortunately, we've run out of time. But it's been such a pleasure uh, to interview you, Tanuja and uh, Aisha, ma'am. It's been wonderful chat with you. And a huge congratulations on Hashash. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll see season two very soon as well, because I've got so many questions still yet left to answer. So <laughs> yeah. it'll be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, so thank you so much thank for joining you. me on Tanisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Got it. Thank you.